If you've been looking for ways to create an ebook version of your beautiful children's book, then this video is for you. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and the creator of Children's Book University. I create videos specifically for children's authors, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly videos. Not too long ago, I made a video on how to format the print version of our children's book. So if you need formatting help for your paperback or hardcover, you can find the link to that video in the description below. In this video, I will show you two of the currently best and easiest ways to prepare an ebook version version for our children's book for Amazon's KDP platform that I have been using for many, many children's books for many years. And the best part is that both options are absolutely free. There are all sorts of different ways we can create our ebook. I have tried them all, but these two right here are the ones I find the easiest and quickest to prepare our ebook for the KDP platform. So if you've been considering hiring a formatter, make sure you watch this video because I know that you can absolutely do this on your own. So in this video, we will look at one, the three main things we will want to make sure we do even before we begin the ebook formatting process that will help make the ebook creation really, really easy. Two, we will look at two absolutely free tools we can use to format our ebook along with their advantages and disadvantages. And three, we will take a look at how to upload our ebook onto KDP. Now, before jumping in, I want to go over three really important disclaimers. One, the two methods I'm sharing in this video are for picture heavy children's books only. If our book is more text heavy, like chapter books, for example, I would not recommend these methods. Methods. Two, Amazon has been slowly but surely phasing one of these methods out, but it is currently still working and it is my favorite method. So I wanted to make sure to include it and share it here with you as well. But once it stops working, we will still have that second option I'm sharing in this video. And three, both methods create ebook files that only work on Amazon's KDP platform. If we need other formats for other ebook platforms, we can still use these two methods, but we will have to use an additional tool, a conversion tool later on to convert it to a different format, but more on that later. So let's take a look at the two options or tools we can use to create our ebook for KDP. The first option is the Kindle Kids Book Creator. This is a tool specifically for the children's ebook creation. This option has been around for quite a few years, and this is also the option that is slowly but surely being phased out. But again, until it disappears, I will continue using it because it does everything I need it to. This tool or software is absolutely free, and I've added the link to its download page in the description below. When we are exporting our ebook from the Kindle Kids Book Creator, it will create what is called a Mobi file, which is a file format that Amazon is slowly phasing out. Currently, Amazon's upload page no longer mentions Mobi as a format option, but we can still upload that file anyways. It's still working. This tool has three main advantages. One is extremely easy to use and very intuitive. Two, we can add our book's metadata directly to the file. So things like the title and subtitle, the imprint if we choose to use one, and our author name, for example. And three, we can add text on top of images inside this tool. So if our images don't already have the text on them, we can add it in this tool. Now, I personally like to add all the text directly to my illustrations already, simply because it gives me so much more freedom in terms of how I can make my text look. But with this tool, we can also add the text directly inside of it. The second formatting tool option is a tool called Kindle Create. This tool is absolutely free as well, and I have added the link to its download page in the description below. When we are exporting our ebook from Kindle Create, it will create what is called Kindle Package Format Files or KPF files. This file format is Amazon specific, meaning it is only accepted over on the KDP platform. Now, technically, Kindle Create allows authors to export their ebooks in two formats, KPF and EPUB. The EPUB file format is an ebook file format that is recognized by most, if not all, ebook distribution platforms across the board. But the EPUB export is only available for reflowable books. 
What does that mean? A reflowable layout is exactly what it sounds like. It's a format where the content of the page can flow in order to automatically adjust to a device's screen size. The lines of text and the pagination will change in order to match the device and its orientation. For children's books that are illustration heavy, the reflowable format is not a good option because we don't want our content to reflow, right? Instead, we want a fixed layout. So each illustration shows up exactly the way we intended to, just like in the paperback or hardcover version of our book. So that's why for us children's authors, we can only generate KPF files within Kindle Create. Now this tool's main advantage is that we can also use it for more text heavy books like middle grade chapter books, for example. But the disadvantage is that we can't add text to our images like we can with the Kindle Kids Book Creator. So the text will have to already be part of each illustration. Now, I personally prefer using the Kindle Kids Book Creator, even though it is the more outdated option. And here's why. If we want to upload our ebook onto platforms other than just Amazon's KDP, we will have to convert our Mobi and our KPF files into an EPUB file because outside of KDP, no one accepts Mobi or KPF files. This conversion is really easy to do, and there are lots of different tools out there to do just that but there are a lot more free tools that convert Mobi files than there are tools that help us convert KPF files. And for that reason alone, it's just easier to simply use the Kindle Kids Book Creator, especially if we are planning to offer our ebook outside of Amazon. But no matter which of these two tools we decide to use, we always want to do some prep work first. And that's my very first and biggest ninja tip for you in this video. That's what will make using these tools so, so easy. Because the trick is to prepare all our image files we want to use. And we will do this by going through three steps. The first step is to make an important decision upfront. We have to decide how we want our images to appear on our reader's ebook device. Do we want our book in landscape or portrait orientation? If we choose the landscape orientation, how do we want our page images to be displayed? Do we want to show a clearly separate left and right page? Or do we want our left and right pages to appear as one single spread or image? Knowing what we want our ebook to look like is really important because that decision will determine how we are preparing our illustrations. Because unfortunately, as of right now, we can only choose one or the other. We can't flip flop back and forth within the book. We can't just use split images for one page and then double spread for another. I personally have my illustrator always create double spread JPEG images like we can see right here on the left where the image extends over both pages, the left and the right. And these double spread images are perfect for our ebook version. And when I want to use these images for my paperback, I simply split it in the middle. So we are left with part of the image for the left page and part of the image for the right page. Again, if you want to see how to format a paperback, I have shared the link to that separate video in the description below. And because I always have these double spread images already, I always choose the one image at a time option within the ebook formatting tool. To know what sizes to request your illustrations in, make sure you watch my video on trim sizes and also make use of my free illustration template generator tool I have created for you. I've made sure to share those links in the description below as well. The second step is to prepare our front and back matter pages or images. Front and back matter refers to pages like our copyright page or our dedication page, our title page, or our about the author page. All those pages that are not directly part of our actual story. If you have any questions regarding front and back matter, what they are and how to create them, make sure you watch my video on that as well. I've shared them in the description below. Now remember, if we choose to show our left and right pages as one single image in our ebook, all our pages will be displayed that way, even those that would appear as single pages in our printed books. And so to make our ebook look as professional as possible, I always share with my Children's Book University students that all pages or images for our ebook should be the same size. And here's what I mean. See some pages like our copyright page or our title page 
aren't meant to be double spread images, right? In our printed book, they would appear as one page only, like we can see right here on the left. And because we chose that ebook devices should show one image at a time, it always looks best if all our images are the same size so that even single pages spread across the entire screen. And so my solution that I have been teaching for years is to simply take our single spread images and make them the same size as my double spread images. And that's what we see here on the right. That way, even single spread pages are centered on every e-reader screen. Again, I've never seen anyone else teach this, but it makes creating our ebook so much easier and it also makes it look more professional. And I do this with all my front and back matter pages. So that's our second preparation step. A really important side note here is to remember to save our image files as JPEG images because that is the accepted file format when we are importing our images into our formatting tools. And the third step during our prep work is all about how we name our image files. That's again something I teach within Children's Book University and is one of my trademarks because it makes life so, so much easier. So this right here is an example of one of my folders that holds the images of one of my books. And if we look closely, we can see that they are all in sequence the way they would appear in the book. That way, uploading our images is really, really easy. So before starting our ebook process, we will want to make sure all our images, including our front and back matter images, are named sequentially, and that's the third preparation step. Now that we have prepared our images, we are ready to use our formatting tools. So let's take a look at the Kindle Kids Book Creator first and how to use it. I've added the link to the Kindle Kids Book Creator in the description below. So go ahead and download the version that you need for your computer. Once you've opened the program, that's what this will look like. So the first thing we want to do is click on create a new kids book right here. These right here are some instructions. So go ahead and read them if you feel like you need to. Otherwise, simply click on continue. And that's where we can add some metadata right here. So we can enter our book title. Evie's book author, Evie Jones. Publisher here, you can enter your imprint if you have created one. If not, you can also just keep it empty. And then select the language, which for me will be English. And then you can select where you want the book to be saved. So go ahead and browse on your computer where you would like this to be saved. And then go ahead and click on continue. So this right here is what I shared with you previously, where we have to make a decision how we want our pages to be displayed. So I always choose landscape, then the one image at a time, and then I click on continue. Now here we have two options. We can import our entire book, including the cover from the PDF, or we can import our cover from a separate image pile. And I always like doing that separately. So I choose this one and I go ahead and I upload my cover image right here. So once the cover is uploaded, we will receive a tip right here. You can now start adding pages to your book. Pages can come from image files or from a PDF file. And the tip here is if you are selecting multiple images, they will be added in alphabetical order by file name. And that is why naming our images the way we did is so important. So go ahead and click on start adding pages. Right after we have pushed that button, a browser window will open for us where we can select our image files. So these right here are the images that I have prepared for this example. So as you can see, even pages like the title page or the credit page right here or the about the author page, they're the same size as all the other images right here. And they are also named in such a way that they all appear in the correct order. So now all I have to do is select all of them at once. So all I have to do is now select them all and click on open. And the Kindle Kids Book Creator will import them one at a time and will show them in the same order I have prepared them in. Once they're uploaded, I always go up here and change the percentage. So I can see them better. Now don't worry, some of the text and some of the images will look a little bit blurry and fuzzy, but that is just in the tool once you upload them onto KDP that will look really sharp and will look really great. So now we can go through and make sure that each page looks the way it is intended to look. Okay, perfect. Now, if you see that your pages are in the incorrect order, or if you need to make changes, all you need to do is click on the image and grab it and drag it to the right position. And you can also add more pages. So if I want to add more pages, all I have to do is select a page, 
and then add page right here and that way I can add more before or after an image right here or page and I can also delete pages now as you can see my pages already have all the text in them but if you wish to add text within the tool itself you can do so by simply clicking on add text right here and then you can move the text box wherever you want it to go but since I already have the text I'm good to go and so I'll go ahead and check my metadata one more time where you can check the title right here in author if you need to make any changes if not simply click on OK and now all that's left for us to do is save our file so we can go up here to file and click on save for publishing then you can rename your file and it will save it in the folder that you previously selected when you first uploaded your images. And as you can see, it will save it as a Mobi file right here. So go ahead and click on save. Once our ebook is ready, it will say Mobi file built successfully. So let's go and check our folder. So this folder right here holds everything that is part of our Mobi file. And so once we are ready to upload our book, this file right here is the one that we want to upload onto KDP. And that's how we use the Kindle Kids Book Creator. And using Kindle Create is just as easy, so let's take a look here as well. To download your Kindle Create, simply use the link I have shared below this video. Once you open up your Kindle Create, this is what the first page will look like. So go ahead and click on Create New up here, and then click on Choose. And so for our children's books, we will want to make sure we choose the comics option right here and then click on continue. And just like before, we will have to choose our orientation. So the reading direction is left to right and then the landscape page view will be single pages. So left to right and single pages and then choose files, which will again open up our browser window. And these are the same images again. So we can go ahead and select all those pages we want to import. Click open and it will pull them right in. Once the import is complete, it will say import successful up here and we can click on continue. And so just like before, we have all our pages here that we can see here in the left column and we can go through and make sure they are in the right order. And if they're not, we can simply grab them again and drag them into the right place. Now this is important because we selected the comics setting, all of these pages come with an overlay color right here. So we want to make sure to turn this off. And the way we do this is we go up here and we deselect the overlay color button right here. So once we do, the overlay is gone. And just to make sure, clicking on all the other pages, they should be the way they are supposed to, right? There should be no overlay. And over here, we have the page settings we previously selected. So up here, we have a preview button, so we can go ahead and click on preview. And so once we are happy with it, we can go and close that window again. Now, sometimes the comic setting can be a little bit glitchy, so make sure that the overlay is turned off for all the pages. So before exporting our projects, go ahead and save it and then click on export. Find the file you want to save it in, rename it and then save it. And once it's done, you can click on show KPF folder so it'll take you right to where it has saved it. So this right here is our file, our KPF file, and that's the one we want to upload over on KDP. And that's it. And that's really it. Using these tools is really easy as long as our JPEG images are prepared the correct way. But how do we upload our ebook onto KDP? Let's look at that next. Once we are ready to upload our ebook, we simply log back into our KDP dashboard. If we have already set up the paperback version of our book, we simply locate it on our bookshelf and click on the Create Kindle ebook button and follow the instructions on the screen. And because we have already set up the paperback, most of the information will automatically transfer over like the title of our book, the description and the author, for example, which makes the ebook setup even easier. If we haven't set up our paperback version just yet, we simply click on the Create Kindle ebook button and create a new book, following all the on-screen steps and instructions. Once we have uploaded our ebook file, we will be able to preview it and our book's interior should look something like this with the KDP's previewer. Here we will want to make sure to select the horizontal view. 
So uploading our Mobi or KPF files onto Amazon's KDP platform is really easy to do. But what if we want to go and upload our ebook onto other platforms outside of Amazon? Remember, both the Mobi file as well as the KPF file are file formats that are only recognized on KDP. If we want to upload our ebook onto other platforms such as Barnes & Noble as well, we will need to first convert them to an EPUB file. And because we already have a Mobi file or KPF file, converting it will be really easy to do. There are many different ways to go about this. We can either use an online converting service like online-convert.com or use a free software like Calibre. And I've made sure to share that link in the description below. Oftentimes, aspiring insurance authors are really intimidated by the whole formatting process, especially for the ebook version. And that's because oftentimes they are afraid of messing it up because they believe that there is just one single way of doing things. And I can absolutely relate because I felt the exact same way with my very first children's book. When formatting the ebook version for our beautiful children's book, the main thing I would love to encourage you to do is to just trust yourself, to trust that you can do this. I shared this in my formatting video for our paperbacks and I wanted to make sure to share it here in this video as well. We are so often intimidated by the new, by things we have never tried before. And so often do we assume that others know so much more or are so much better, when in reality we may be just as good. It's not that I knew more when I formatted the electronic version of my very first children's book. It's just that I realized that my confidence in myself is created when I allow myself to just try new things and being okay with failing. Because guess what? If I do, I can simply try again. I really hope you found this video helpful and that it saves you so much money on the way. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It always makes me so, so happy and really encourages me to keep making free videos for you just like this one. Here's to your beautifully formatted ebook version of your children's book. Bye!